everybody, welcome to another TV show review. So, um, I actually put a poll of which show I was actually going to review. Um, so if I got it wrong, though, <laughs> it's not Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm going to be reviewing, um, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So, this is season 18, episode 2, um, fights, fashion shows, and I forgot what the other part was. So, we pick up right where we left off. We see Kim and Courtney fighting. Like, um, Courtney just went in on Kim. Like, she scratched her, and Kim was like, uh uh, I ain't having this. So, she slapped her. Like, is it is crazy like courtney is just i don't i don't know like it's so weird and it's not really a positive environment for her to be around and then like chloe and kim call chris their mom and she's drunk it's like whatever and like i think this was when kylie um was about to put out that balmain um palette so this was when she was sick okay and then courtney confides and khadija and malika and, you know, Khadija, I think that was Khadija, yeah. Um, Khadija was like, I, I saw it when you called me and texted me, like, you, it's just too stressful for you. And, you know, you're trying to um, do all this for your kids and everything, and it's, like, too much. And she, Courtney is like, Chloe takes everybody's side except for hers. She takes Kim's side, Kendall, Kylie, she never takes her side. And, you know... Khadija and Malika suggest to Courtney that she should take a break from the show, and I think she's thinking about it. So, Chloe, Scott, and Kim um, talk about it. Um, basically, they think that Courtney was having a nervous breakdown, or she's headed towards one. And, you know, Scott has been around since, like, season one, and, like, you know, since the show started. And he's seen, like, everything. And he's seen most of it, and he thinks it's sad. And they think it's because of the breakup that she had with Scott, you know. But that's been quite a while ago, you know. And then we're back in Paris. And Corey's like, why are you cursing to his girlfriend, Chris? And then Kylie's like, oh, I mean, Chris is like, Kylie can't come to the Balmain show because she's still sick to come. And then we see Kim. She's going to visit the companies that support the Armenian businesses. And Corey is giving Chris some advice, like, you're, you're being momager mode. You just need to be mom right now. Like, calm down. And, you know, they were at this Armenian uh, museum, you know, saying their respects and everything. And Courtney just wanted to take a picture, but you got the paparazzi and all these people asking for pictures with Kim. And Courtney basically says to Kim that she doesn't like being a celebrity. But at the same time, you probably, you like, you went to school, right? Yeah, you did. And, like, um, yeah, you, you guys can tell I know too much about the Kardashians. Like, it's not even funny. And, like, she has her little pooch line and all that. So, why don't she quit the show? Like, you can do something else with your time because it don't seem like you are into it anymore. And then Chris is, Chris is talking to Eva and Gloria at the Balmain show. And the show starts. And then, um... You know, we're back in Calabasas, and Courtney is talking about how she loves to travel, but, you know, the memorial was unenjoyable for her, and she tells Kim that she doesn't like being a celebrity, and, you know, all this stuff. And then Kim and Courtney meet the first lady and president of Armenia, and the kids get baptized, and then they're in L.A., and, you know, it's Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Khadija, and Malika, and they're all talking about... And then Chloe's talking to Kim, I mean, Courtney, and Courtney said Chloe's a B. And, you know, it's just really all out. And she is taking a break, and she said that she will only let the direct, I mean, not the director, and let the cameras film what she wants to film, and she's setting some boundaries. But I hope you all enjoyed this Keeping Up with Kardashians review. Hit that like button for me to review next week's, and I will see y'all next time.